What's up, YouTubers? Thought I would take a break from the welding table and tackle this project that I was supposed to have done three years ago. Kind of got away from me, much like everything else around this shop. Funny note, found a couple Christmas cards I never opened underneath this, so... Oops! My grandmother's going to have my head for that, I think. So what I got here is a stag beer sign. Now, I'm old, but I'm not that old, and I've never had this beer. I have no idea who made it. Probably was much like the old PBR and all of that that my grandfather talked about being so good that, you know, kind of fell off the face of the earth and became a symbolism of hipsters. Well, stag no longer exists, but the sign does. Sign doesn't work. I remember it didn't work when I took it apart. And the goal for this video is to hopefully make it work. But, you know, failure is always an option. So let's get into it. So I know for a fact that this pull chain doesn't click anymore. And I remember that being a problem. Or at least I thought it was a problem since I cut it out of there. Well, I went over to the local hardware store, a.k.a. Menards, found this, which is basically the same thing as that, but hopefully works. Now, I don't even really remember how this goes in, so we're going to have a little bit of work to do, but, I mean, it pretty much is the same thing. Oh, it actually clicks. Hmm. Interesting. So let me flip this over and hopefully not break it. Wow, is this thing filthy. Huh. All right. Is there like a hole drilled for that? Oh, I see. So down here, let me flip it and hopefully not have this thing fall apart. A little hole there so I think this other switch just went through there and attached which means this new one has to now part of the problem is we got to ask ourselves like there's a whole bunch of wiring in here and I don't know what goes where I'll take a guess and say this is one of the wires, but who knows really. Kind of hoping to find another cutoff wire in here. All right. Yeah, this won't set fire to your house, will it? Aha. Uh -huh. The other cutoff wire is all the way in here. Right here. Well, I'm going to have to get some bare wire and do some splicing here. So our problem is this little pull chain thing that was original, they left literally no wiring that I can pull to rewire a new one in. Now, this guy has wiring on it, which is good. What I'm gonna do is strip this off and then hopefully find a wire nut. If I gotta rob one out of my panel in the shop, I'll do it just for the time being. I didn't know anything about this sign. It appears to be a fluorescent tube it's got uh two transformers here i can't believe it this one says general electric and it says made in the usa i can't recall last time i've seen made in america on a transformer oh man uh, that ain't gonna cut it huh well maybe it will I believe I bypassed the switch on this and it did work. 
But again, that was three years ago, and I got a bad case of CRS sometimes. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, man, I'm going to end up cutting this wire off, aren't I? Fuck. Huh. Just because it's made in America doesn't mean better. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it used to, not anymore. Oh, probably cut through the wire there. Wow. All right. So if we look here, this uh, 1970s lamp cord, that appears to wire nut into this. So this would likely be the input to that switch, and then this likely feeds the transformers or something. So all we're doing is we're putting a switch in between the hot wire that powers everything to where we can disconnect it. Now, I've seen some of these things, and I, I'm not a sign expert by any means. I've seen some janky old stuff like this where they'll switch to neutral and everything inside is always hot. You want to be careful with that. And I really didn't do a disclaimer on this before I started, but make sure it's unplugged while you're screwing around with it. Or at least be on a GFI so when you get shocked, you probably don't wind up in the hospital or worse. All right. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I gotta go to this wire. All right. I find it funny in this country, we still use wire nuts and everyone else uses those Wagos. I don't know. I've actually never used the Wagos. I don't know if they're better or not, but wire nuts, you know, I don't know, in this country, wire nuts were the least of our worries. The bigger issue was old knob and tube wiring run all over and the jacket falling apart and shorten as something catching your house on fire. Far bigger of an issue than a wire nut. All right, that's looking pretty good. I think what I'm gonna do install this switch so it's out of the way because I don't think I can put it in after the fact. Now these things generally don't care which wire is hot. Like all they do is they have a little contactor in there that shuts and connects both of these wires. So it's not like polarity sensitive as long as this is in between, you know, basically you don't have to hook the hot to the input. There is no input. This is kind of cool. If you look at it, it literally rotates that. Huh, kind of bizarre. Oh, sorry. Here, that's better. Huh. Oh, wow. It's easier than I thought. Of course, the switch is going to be too fucking big. Is it? Huh. It might be. No, it's just, it's actually the same size. Huh. Wonder how they got that in there. Sometimes I do wish that I had smaller hands. How enough? Fuck. Huh. Yeah, I mean, this is literally the same size. I 
out of all the room they have in here that they had to put this, of course, where it's like impossible. Well, I can tell you why the other switch failed. Because it sits on top of this transformer and probably just melted or, you know, cooked the internals of it out. Yeah, I don't see any way, and this switch is the same size. I mean, everything about this is fucking wrong, but, you know. Well, I guess. Actually, yeah, it does fit in there. Wow. Yeah, so that's why this thing fails. It literally is touching the transformer here, which hopefully this newer plastic case doesn't melt and then short out and start a fire. But, yeah, like, let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at that in there. It literally sits on the transformer. Well, now that that's in there, I'm going to solder this together because I don't have any wire nuts this size, and then I'm going to heat shrink tube it. Not the ideal situation, but I mean, this thing is so janky as it is with all these wire nuts and transformers that are going to get hot. Yeah, I, I don't really like this. This would be a good candidate to rip all that crap out and just put LEDs in it. But I'm going to at least make it work and be reason, reasonably safe. If you don't have one of these, these things are pretty handy. I got it off of Amazon. It's basically a butane-powered uh, soldering iron. It takes a little bit to get heated up. It's not welding, but it's close. Put this where I won't burn my hand on it. All right, I'm going to go get some heat shrink tubing, and we're going to finish this up. So I got some uh, heat shrink tubing here. Now this stuff is what they call marine. It basically has hot melt glue in it. Uh, that might be a little bit. I'll have to get the next size bigger. See if this works. Probably the same one. All right, I'm just going to take a normal torch and heat that up a little bit. Put another one right over the top of that just to really make sure it's good. Technically, you probably should use a indirect heat source, but whatever. Probably a little hot. <laughs> all right, so now I have to tuck all of this questionable wiring back into this. Yeah, I don't, this is kind of <laughs> a little bit on the sketchy side. Now you would think I would plug this in and try it, which I could do. But honestly, I kind of want to have this uh, side panel on it. Just so if anything kind of blows up, it uh, doesn't do it with my face right there. This reminds me of a story my father used to tell me. 
said that back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever, that the Miller Brewing, which here in the Milwaukee area of Wisconsin, Miller Brewing used to be a really, well, they still are the biggest brewery around here. And their union workers, he was telling me, fought for the right to have cold beer in the break room, and they won. So literally, they had a cooler, multiple coolers with beer that they could drink during lunch break. I don't know that they could drink on a job, maybe, but at least on lunch break. Pretty crazy. That that definitely doesn't happen too much anymore, at least at the bigger breweries, I don't think. Speaking of that, if you guys are ever in the Milwaukee area, Miller Brewing's tour kind of sucks, so let me zoom out here so you can be part of the fun here. Miller Brewing's tour kind of sucks. I wouldn't really recommend it. You want to go to Lakefront Brewing. Far, far better tour and better beer. Hate to say it. It's true. Huh. All right. Let me fix this. And go get a hammer and hammer this. Actually, I'll use my multi-tool. Yeah, Lakefront Brewing. Great brewery tour. Great Pretty good beer. I actually like a lot of their beer, and I don't, I don't even really drink that much, but it's it's pretty decent stuff. Now, of course, because this sat around the shop for forever. Oh, maybe I I, li I lied. I was about to lie. I was going to say I don't have the screws or anything, and then look at that. I do. Can't believe it. That's got to be a record for me. I don't think I've ever gone three years without fixing something and actually had parts to put it back together. Let me go get a screwdriver. Whoa. Of course, the only screwdriver I have is this little guy that's probably going to break trying to put these in. Well, I think you get the idea. I'm going to cut out, and then uh, I'll come back when I get this thing reassembled. Well, the moment of truth. I'll admit I'm a little bit afraid of... Oh, no, I'm definitely not afraid. It's got a ground plug, so if it shorted out, it probably wouldn't blow up. Well, let's see here. Will it work? No. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought it didn't work. A little bit impatient there. That's kind of cool. Definitely think that... <laughs> All the insides should be gutted and it just be replaced with some LEDs and keep the original plastic because that's kind of cool. All right, well, I'm going to unplug this and dust it off and wipe it down and call this a success. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around, guys. Till next time.